The new Maserati GT2 Stradale makes its world premiere as the super sports car at Monterey Car Week 2024. What's good guys, welcome back to Ron's Rise, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video where the Maserati GT2 Stradale, which I guessed it, that's the name of the actual car. If you guys didn't see that video, go check that out, but my predictions were correct. It's an ode to the most extraordinary and exclusive sportiness, the result of a technical and stylistic partnership between the Maserati GT2 and masterpiece of performance created for the brand's return to GT2 competitions and the Maserati MC20, an iconic Trident car infused with unmistakable style. Now, starting from an already excellent basis, Maserati has developed a car that can combine the best of the brand's racing and mass production while transferring the hallmarks of the track model and ensuring a further evolution of its most beloved super sports car. Now, the Maserati GT2 Stradale combines in-depth technology transfer of the purest performance typical of racing cars combined with the intense qualities of the MC20. The new super sports car thus invokes style and racing performance while ensuring an idea feeling of comfort in all conditions of use without sacrificing the best driving experience on the road typical of Maserati's offerings. Now, with a top speed, of 320 kilometers an hour and a maximum output increased to 640 horsepower 10 horsepower more than the mc20 a weight decreased by 60 kilograms and an acceleration from 0 to 100 kilometers or 62 miles per hour in just 2.8 seconds the maserati gt2 stradale promises unparalleled sensations and superior performance partly thanks to its sophisticated aerodynamics and attractive design inherited from his racing sibling now at the wheel the feeling will be one of driving one of the most incredible track cars there is and you get the opportunity to make the best of it on roads all over the world and the leading features of the new maserati gt2 stradale are the wide range of options the opportunities for customization with packages dedicated to improving performance the quest for a bolder aggressive aesthetic the exclusive fierce siri content and its specific configurations where availability will vary between markets now maserati ceo david degrasso said that the maserati gt2 stradale is a unique product bringing together as it does the brand's greatest sporting heritage and at the same time representing evolution of one of Maserati's most iconic vehicles, the MC20 Halo car. The model intended for everyday driving was created based on a desire to offer our customers more and more in terms of technical mastery, innovation, design, and emotions in road driving. On one hand, we find sophisticated solutions reserved for models designed for track use only, the eptum of Maserati racing DNA. On the other hand, we guarantee optimal comfort paired with all the most advanced driver assistance systems. The Maserati GT2 Stradale is a product that can fulfill the requirements of the most discerning enthusiasts, a new creation that expresses the brand's entire essence. End quotes. Now, when it comes to colors, Maserati offers a distinctive range for the GT2 Stradale with black, two-tone white and black, two-tone blue and black, and two-tone yellow and black. And the diversity obviously allows future owners to choose a version that reflects their personality while benefiting from the car's exceptional performance. Now, the new MC20 GT2 Stradale is positioned against the renowned competitors such as the Lamborghini Huracan STO, Porsche 911 GT3, and Ferrari 488 Pista. And by targeting supercar owners who want a road car that can also shine on the track, Maserati has hit the nail on the head. Now with the GT2 Stradale, Maserati is demonstrating a clear strategy of model variation as Lamborghini has done over the last 10 years. After the MC20, the MC20 Cielo, and the MC Extrema, this new road approved version can be a great success. And unlike the homologated GT2 and MC Extrema, the GT2 Stradale offers selective versatility. Now, with Maserati also banking on exclusivity for this model, the production will be limited. In stark contrast to the 10,000 Porsche 911 GT3s, the 4,500 Ferrari 488 Pistas, and the 3,500 Lamborghini Huracan STOs. Now, whether this rarity is deliberate or self-imposed remains to be seen, but in the end, there's only one piece of information missing. That's the price. We'll see where Maserati lands with this one because the Huracan STO is around 400,000 euros with a Porsche 911 GT3 from 200,000 euros, so the MC20 GT2 Stradale could land somewhere in between. 
Now some more cool stuff you'll find on the GT2 Stradale is both in the interior and exterior. There's racing flavor inside where you'll find exposed carbon fiber amid Alcantara and matte surfaces and all designed to eliminate glare. The steering wheel is thicker versus the MC20 but with fewer controls. Everything is positioned to be within easy reach for the driver including the 10.25 inch center display and a 6 speaker stereo sound system is standard but you can opt for a 12 speaker system if you desire. Now the seats are designed specifically for the GT2 Stradale and they are double shell carbon fiber pieces with foam ends and Maserati offers two different sizes for larger or smaller buyers and they are manually operated to provide a lower seating position for better weight distribution. An optional rear bar can take four point racing seat belts for track day action. And if that's too hardcore, Maserati has a less aggressive sports seat available. Now for the outside, that's where the good looks come in, but it's not just about looks, it's about function. And you guys can see that aggression is there. We have the bigger intakes, the vents in the hood, and the wheel arches with the big GT2 wing bolted at the back. Now the front and rear fascias are a bit tamer than on the race car of the GT2, but obviously more aggressive than the MC20 road car. And you have carbon everywhere from the rear wing to the flat on the hood and if you want more you can have the roof fascias fender intakes and side skirts carbonized too now again it's not just looks but actual function and keep in mind that for the gt2 stradale it's a race car in its heart and it generates up to 1100 pounds of downforce with a series of drive modes that make the most of all of it Corsa mode sets everything up for the track and has sub-models to progressively reduce electronic intervention. Opt for the performance pack however and you'll be able to get Corsa Evo mode. This offers more customization to create what Maserati calls a 360 degree professional driver experience. Now at the world premiere of the Maserati GT2 Stradale at the Quail, two other spectacular Trident cars are also present. The MC20 Ikona making its North American debut and the MC Extrema featuring at Laguna Seca in an event dedicated to the delivery of the first model of Maserati's Beast on the track. Yes, the first MC Extrema is being delivered in America. But with that said, Maserati is making some big moves in racing with the MC Extrema, with the GT2, and now with now when it comes to colors, Maserati offers a distinctive range for the GT2 Stradale and with with black two-tone white and black, two-tone blue and black and to put their money where their mouth is and give us something a little bit more hardcore. Now I know it's only like 10 miles per hour faster for the top speed, only a second quicker to zero to 60 and things like that. But they're giving it a little bit more flair, a little bit more rawness and I can't be mad at that at all. So I wanna know what you guys think about the new GT2 Stradale. Drop those comments down below. Now, if you guys did enjoy the video today, make sure you give it a big thumbs up, but make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and click that notification bell so you don't miss one video. And with that said, we will see you guys in the next one. Peace.